Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. In this video, we're gonna take a look at giving your photo a cinematic color grading. We're gonna do it with a local adjustment as opposed to a split tone or a vintage look or anything like that. And use one of the blending modes we don't often see, which is called exclusion. So I'm gonna run through uh, quickly what the color grading looks like, and then we'll take the second step to understand what is this exclusion mode doing and how it's working. So if you only have a short amount of time, watch the first half of the video. If you wanna understand what's beneath the hood, keep on watching. So we're going to go into local adjustments and add a layer. And on a stage, my sliders here. I don't want any changes. I want to have a full white mask. I want a low opacity somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 15 usually works well. And then down here, I'm going to choose paint with color. And you can see I've already shifted the color of my photo by what I'm choosing. And I'm going to choose a cooler tone in the shadows, and that's already looking pretty neat. The last thing I'll do is go into the blending options and change that to exclusion. And so before and after, and it just gives it an interesting color grading. I, I'll say like a cinematic type look if you've got uh, those movies that have that bluish tint to the shadows, and it just looks really, really cool. Now let's go and unpack what's happening with this exclusion mode so you can understand what's going on, why did I choose a cool color, and all that kind of stuff. So let's give ourselves a little more screen real estate here. So exclusion, I'm going to take this back to normal and take the opacity all the way back up. So right now we are just coloring the entire scene with this blue. And what exclusion does is, i get the color wheel up here, is it will apply a color to the shadows and then a complementary color an opposite color on the color wheel to the highlights. So I've chosen this blue here, and if I kind of go right across the diameter of the color wheel, somewhere in this orangey yellow would end up being applied to the highlights. Now I switch the blending mode to exclusion. There we go. And we can see just that. We see all the shadow areas have this blue color, and then the highlight areas, the bright areas, have this you know greenish, yellowish type color here. Again, I'll turn off our color grading adjustment. So we can see these bright areas are here near the street lamps, of course, in this area. This is also a bright color up here in the sky. Again, brightness, not, not luminance, but the brightness of it. So when we turn that back on, those are the areas we see these oranges and these yellows and greens. And from here, it's just dialing in a good opacity. And I find that between 10 to 20 works pretty well. And this, this image looks good right around there. And you can fine tune the color. As you move this around, you get a different feel, right? I can, I can go warmer and then it will make the shadows cooler. That, I can see that being okay for some looks uh, or some photos, I should say. But I tend to like the cooler colors. If you want one of those that are more like, you know, greenish in the, uh, in the shadow areas, you know, think of a movie like The Matrix where there's a lot of, uh, a lot of green tones in that film. Or, you know, I, I do tend to like those blues down in the shadows. But anywhere in these cooler colors here, just gives it a very interesting look. It's different than a split tone. It's different than working with the curves. And it's pretty easy to pull off, right? Just pick a color, choose exclusion as the blend mode, and dial back that opacity. So you're just giving a nice hint of that color. And of course, you have all your masking tools available too. If you wanted to go in here and start playing around with luminosity masks, inverting those, doing anything to, uh, to kind of bias how this is going to impact the scene, Got lots of options with your local adjustments. All of those other tools are available. So that's it. Uh, again, wrapping it up, choose a color using something in the shadows. Make sure that your mask is applied to the whole photo. Dial back your opacity to between 10 and 20%, and then flip on the exclusion blend mode. And you get a really nice looking color grading for your photo. Hope you've enjoyed this. My name's Scott Davenport, and thanks for watching.